Yikes! Well, I'm here tonight and I'm going to be now a, a showbiz correspondent. I know all 40 of you on my YouTube channel are going to think, well, we'll have quick diversification. But I'm not going to keep talking about boring politics. I'm not going to be controversial all the time. Um, I'm just going to jump on as and when I can. And tonight I've been watching Big Brother, something I didn't think I'd be commentating on. But, do you know, I'm really enjoying this series. They've ticked pretty much every diversity box there is and they've put it in, in that house. And because I think it's quite current, because at the moment we've got this kind of this rise of the LGBTQ whatever, whatever movement it is. Um, something that I'm at odds with, quite regular. Um, as a gay man, um, I've always kind of found it difficult to give yourself a label and ask for equality at the same time. It's something that doesn't sit easy with me. Um, so, and of course, as a gay man, I'm expected to understand all those different LGBTQ, RSTs, all the rest of it. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't. You know, I, I don't always like to be a lesbian. I don't always like to be a transsexual. Um, uh, bisexual, I don't know. Um, but people tend to, because I'm classed as an LGBTQ, whatever, um, I, I'm expected to know. I don't. But Courtney, Shane, has gone in there. And what an ambassador. I didn't think I'd like this person before going in. Um, because of the description given, oh, there was a lefty, this, that, and the other, and I thought, oh god, here we go, it's gonna be one of these kind of screw, screwy loonies that can force things down your, down your, down your, your, your face. It's gonna cause us a whole lot of trouble. But it's been quite the opposite. It's uh, he's somebody that's gone in. He's very level-headed. He's very confident. The person who he is, um, that confidence radiates out and it actually engages people. And you can see within the house that the straight men are more than happy to ask questions. More than happy to engage with him, um, and it's lovely to watch. And if anything, it reminds me of it was when I grew up. Um, because living in, in South Wales Valley, the mining community, people wouldn't expect perhaps so that uh, being gay, you, you'd expect perhaps a, a harder time. I didn't have a hard time growing up. I never had any problems. Um, and it was kind of that. You know, I'd be a strict man, and we'd be dancing and bath and talk, you know, all these type of things. Very much similar to what people is to know. Um, and it was good. It was, it was it was really nice to have people interested in who you are, and I want to understand um, what makes you tick. So it, it does give me that that that, that reminiscence um, of of my time growing up, and it's nice to see that tonight uh, while they're in the hot tub um, together and having a chat and a laugh and a giggle. So I, I like that. Of course, on the flip side of that, you've then got India, a transsexual, um, somebody who was really rubbing the nation up the wrong way. Which is unfortunate for her um, because I do believe that she's perhaps gone through the change in her life too soon to come on TV and to be judged by the nation. Um, she's not handled it very well, you can see that. Um, and of course, if you compare that to Nadia, was a few years ago, um, everyone thought she was a woman, nobody thought of her as a man, I don't think. Um, she went on to win Big Brother. So, you know, prejudices, I don't think, um, on a big scale, you know, we are a live and let live kind of country. Although some right now try to tell us we're not, we certainly are. Um, and of course, she didn't have a nomination, so I now think she's probably going to leave. Um, and I do wonder what that's going to do to her mental health. But there we are. Um, my other favourite, again, is Rachel. I absolutely love Rachel. Um, Boris Johnson's sister, who is um, a journalist. Um, Lib Dem as well, I believe. But, um, but anyway, no, we'll hold that against her. Uh, she's another one, calm, cool cucumber. I like that type of personality. Um, Anne Whitcomb, now Anne Whitcomb is very calculated, she's a politician, you know, you know, uh, a prominent politician for many years, uh, she knows exactly what she's doing, uh, you can see that in, in, in the series tonight, or last night when you watch this, um, where she needed to rooster away when it came to nominations, but she would have known, she's very calculated, um, that's who she is as a politician, um, so uh, it'd be interesting to see how she progresses. Again, I think it's great for the UK to see these politicians put themselves out there. The last one I remember offhand was George Galloway. And I think everyone was sick and puked up a little bit of something when they saw him. Um, but I think you're a different kettle of fish here, especially with conservatism. Um, more more calm, calculated in, in, in what they do and what they say. So I think you will see a difference. Actually, I think people will warm to Anne more than they have to anybody else. I just hope she doesn't get too sour mouth. Um, I hope she does. Kind of break the ice every now and again. I'll talk about others as time goes on, maybe, but I thought I'd just jump on, do a little Big Brother commentary. I'm now going to sleep. Yikes! Ooh.